Hi, I'm Pam Kruger, founder of WealthRamp. And one of the questions that we've gotten a lot on Money Track is how do I access investing? Now, I'm talking about outside your 401k plan, so not through your company, just all by yourself. So I'm going to break it down into four different ways you can approach the market or buy a real estate investment trust, anything that you want to invest in. And the answer for you, which one is the right method to use, is going to depend on how confident you are in being your own financial advisor. So let me just run you through the options. Number one, you've got the option of going to a robo-investing website. These are called robo-investors or robo-advisors because they're you know, algorithmic uh, driven models that are these are just digital uh, portfolios that are put together based on questions you answer so you can answer a few questions and it will spit out for you the right combination of uh, Vanguard funds for example or ETFs to give you the diversification that you want and you need now what you're not going to get there is you're not going to get any hand-holding no one's going to listen to you there that website's not going to empathize with you uh, they're not going to know your hopes, your dreams, your biggest fears, and they're not going to talk to you about other things in your life that are going on, like a divorce or college planning or concerns you might have about an inheritance. Uh, so this is strictly straight up, least expensive way. Um, you can expect uh, that the fees are going to be next to nothing, and it's an excellent way if you just want to keep it simple. The second way you can still save money but get a little bit of guidance is to walk into any branch of any Fidelity, TD, um, or Schwab office. They're all over the place. Walk in and what they'll do is they'll help you set up a new account. They'll give you good information on, um, you know, for example, IRAs or 401k rollovers into IRAs. They'll tell you the rules and things like that. They'll tell you about the Vanguard funds or any array of different funds that they have and they'll explain it to you but what they won't do is they won't sit down and give you personalized advice and act as a quarterback and look at everything in your life and put it all together for you because that's not what they do that's why they're called discount brokers so you save some money by going through a discount broker you get a little bit of hand holding uh, the third way when you're getting advice from a traditional broker like a Merrill Lynch or Ameriprise are you really are they really looking out for your best interest well no because the number one loyalty has to be to the employer. And if I'm that broker, the number two loyalty has to be to me to make sure that I'm meeting my transaction quota because that's what they're paying me for, not you. You're number three. How do you like being number three? Because you're number three. So even if they say they're behaving according to the fiduciary rule, that firm, the name on it up there, they're not a fiduciary brokerage firm so what that means and we won't get into the whole definition of fiduciary you can look that up with the fiduciary rule important thing to know is that when you're getting so-called advice from a broker or an advisor who's employed by that firm you're not paying them directly for the advice therefore they're really not putting you first so the fourth way which is the best way by far if you want someone who's really going to quarterback your financial life for you and take it all on and say, okay, I want to know everything. I want to know your 401k. I want to know your IRAs. I want to know your inheritance. I want to know what you're worried about with your kids' college, your legacy planning, your business, your real estate. That's a financial advisor. For that, you want to go to an independent, registered, fiduciary, meaning full-time, all-the-time fiduciary, who is really looking out for your best interest because you are paying that advisor directly for advice. And therefore, that puts you on the same team. So then when the transactions are made in that account for you, with you, the transaction costs will be as low as possible and you'll have access to every investment under the sun at the lowest possible cost because that advisor's best interest is to make sure that you're saving money on transaction costs because you're paying for the advice overall and you can see everything, it's transparent. So the biggest difference between the traditional broker for advice or a financial advisor who's independent is a couple of big differences. Number one, when you go try to find 
uh, an independent financial advisor. It's a lot harder. That's why I created WealthRamp. It's a lot harder because these are not the firms advertising on TV saying we are Ameriprise or Merrill Lynch uh, or Prudential and we have 14,000 advisors ready to help you and they're all exactly the same. Well, first of all, they're not exactly the same. They can't possibly be exactly the same. They don't all have the same experience and expertise. Secondly, the brokerage firm, the traditional Wall Street model, they can't sell you a Vanguard fund because they compete with Vanguard. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind when you go back and forth and you're looking at the advice choices between a broker at a well-known firm that advertises on television versus an independent registered investment advisor, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second. This model here, this, this is the big skyscraper. This one is limited only. The brokerage firm is limited only to the menu of investments that they've approved that they'll sell you. So you can't buy a Vanguard fund at a big major Wall Street brokerage firm like a Merrill Lynch because they compete. Therefore, you're not getting the investments you really want. You're getting the investments they really want to sell you. So contrast that with an investment advisor who is independent. The independent has access to any product, any investment. They're completely product agnostic. The independent registered investment advisor is harder to find. Let's just put it that way, that the Merrill Lynch's, the Prudential's, the Ameriprise's, they're out there spending billions of dollars on advertising so that you know who they are. They've got their names all over their buildings. The independent registered investment advisors are not as easy to find, but they are the better choice by far in your best interest.